Lord of the Ice Cream. Dun 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 It's actually pretty good, man. Mmm. It's like, Let's have some steak. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and we're back with round two. Here we go. So this is Sluban's Food Street B0705A through H. Pieces vary depending on set, which I'll tell you about when we look at each one of them. All right, I think what you're looking at is my personal favorite, the sushi set. Why can't I say that right? 320 pieces. Why do I like it? Because it looks like sushi to me and it's making me freaking hungry right now. I want some raw fish. Let's just look at this thing. It's small again, but I really like it. I love the sides here because you know that's a California roll. You know you want that California roll. And we come to this side here, same deal. Repeats mirrored on both sides, yeah. So if you look at it from the front here, I like how it has a little bit of black for the seaweed. The actual shop itself really does look like sushi. And the back here, you got the egg roll here and another sushi there. I just thought that was genius, man. I really like it. I like the color, it feels original. And I just, ah, good job, Sluban. I'm actually liking this one so far. There are two stickers along the top there. Sushi delivery on one side. It looks like a looks like a little rice ball running, and a sushi sign there. And along the bottom there, you got what looks like Wi-Fi signal bars going along the bottom. Japanese thing, you know. So it just looks like Wi-Fi signals to me. Maybe I'm too stuck in this internet era, and I like the little plant there that sticks out. It's a nice touch, man. You got some sushi inside there, little bowls of rice or something. But those are all stickers. Of course, it does open up like that. And this is the case where if you leave it like this, actually looks kind of cool, opened up. Let's flip it to the back here. And of course, you're probably gonna be disappointed because there's really nothing inside this small set. It is tiled. They tiled the whole thing again. So on the counter side, there's nothing really except two shelves. And I'm guessing they're just like, well, it's the only thing that actually looks kind of decent that we can fit inside a set. We'll just put some joystick looking things inside. It can be whatever you want it to be. Now on the other side, even though it's empty, it's actually kind of cool because it's like a counter top where you can stand and eat your sushi. They got some sauces inside there. And accessories, you know, they have a couple stools. These stools can, or chairs, you can put them anywhere you'd like, but they don't have studs on them, so the figures are gonna slide off everywhere. But the coolest thing about the set is actually the table, which I really, really like. Look at that, yo, salmon table. How you like that? Man, I wish I had more of these. They sh someone should make a sushi set. I'm always seeing these moth designs and no one's actually done a set. I think there's one brand I did before that I looked over in a catalog video, remember that? Everyone's like freaking out about all these brands. I think it's by a company called Kai. I gotta check if those are available or not. I'm not sure. Usually those things might be vaporware, like they don't really exist. They're just putting a design out there and trying to entice you to invest in their company, something like that. But anyway, very cool table. I like this a lot. This one's actually really good. And it does have a couple of stools that come with it. I like it. What's that supposed to be? Like the wasabi, wasabi chairs. You get your wasabi with your table there. So you got the sign, again, it's the same, but they, every shop has like its own design on the top. And I guess that's another sushi roll up there, which is kind of cool. This one actually does have an extra sign. Like extra, extra sign. We've got to make one more. Sushi bar and hand roll up there. Stickers, pretty cool. I'm liking this one. Let's look at the figures that come with it. You got the chef. I like his moustache. I like his print. I like that outfit. It's got like that Japanese theme to it, which is really cool. And his bandana, headband thing that he's wearing while he's making his sushi. Just really neat. So there's the chef. I got to mention that some of these sets actually come with like cups and plates, but yeah, you can see right there. They're more like model style. They don't have any studs on them, so they're going to fall over all over the place, you know, unless you don't need to use them. Don't use them. But the chef is supposed to be holding a plate, which is not going to work unless you blue tack that sucker on. You got this Japanese customer, hardworking businessman, wearing his suit. I like the printing. I like his nose area. He's like, he's super shy. He's like, so shy. I'm so shy. I'm going to have some sushi. So let's put the figures in the inside. Of course, there are no studs. So these guys are going to fall all over the place. Okay, so the chef actually has to kind of duck to get inside. There he is there. It's covered by the plant. Hi. I'm going to turn this around to show you guys the back here because look at that. He can't fit in there. Oh no, so yeah, this is more for looks. Dang it. 
I was like, oh cool, they got a little counter in there. You have to probably have to chill out on the outside or get the chair that he is going to slide off of here. Where it looks like sitting down. Yeah, I'd have that look on my face too if I had to sit like that. So we want him to hang out in this little room down here. That sucks, man, they can't really fit inside. So, you know, maybe they could have made this a little bit higher. It would have been okay, I think, if they had gone up just a little bit more just to match the size. I think they wanted to like make it look just a little bit of a design thing going on, but you know, you're sacrificing height now. Let's put a regular figure inside. May I take your order for sushi, please? Okay, so if I put Hazel here, you can actually see there's absolutely no way that she can fit there because it'll just like hit along the top there. Oh no, so I have to stand here on the outside. Oh, what a bummer, man. I was thinking that's so cool. They can stand there and have sushi. Now she's gonna stand a little bit lower or maybe you guys can modify if you're gonna keep it open, an extra plate that has like a step going up into that counter or extend it out a little bit. Nice idea, nice try. But I really, still really, really like the sushi set. And the other thing too is, I got Nick there. Again, you have to be careful right there. Look at that, oh, I'm gonna pull it off, look. Yeah, so you have to be careful of these parts that connect, design thing. You know, just, just be gentle with it. And yeah, we should do a little drop test, right? Five, four, three, two, one. One, one, one. Oh, the sushi came off on the back. You have failed me, sushi bar. Okay, maybe if I push it in tighter and do it again. That. Better, all right? That's the sushi bar. So this is the noodle bar or ramen bar. 345 pieces. And this is probably my second favorite one. Again, this one is a little bit fragile. You do have to be careful. I love the top there. I like the chopsticks, the egg. Look at the detail. The top of this set is probably the best thing about this set. But because it's like a bowl and it's curved and rounded, you can see, oh, things might want to get shifted or moved around and more gaps as usual. There's no way to really avoid that, I guess. Or they could have like secured it maybe a little bit more down here, but it splits open so you can, it, it's kind of understandable. But how awesome is this? We can actually take off the chopsticks here. I'm excited seeing this. You saw me take this apart last time in one of my videos. I've forgotten which one already. That's just your chopsticks right there, which is pretty cool. Now, the reason that there's a gap there is because it has to be able to slot and fit into these. If you close it too much, it'll actually hit along here. Just open it a little bit more there, like that. There, so now it balances on there. Like that, it snapped back in there nicely. And look, these slope things, whatever they're called, they really look like noodles. How awesome is that? They got like little bits of a seasoning thing going on there. All right, so there are two stickers here, and I think there's two stickers on every set. You probably don't need to have these on. Left side is a bowl of noodles. Nice little drawing there. The right side, it says noodle with a pair of chopsticks. Very simple stuff. Now, the only unfortunate thing is it doesn't open from the back. It opens from the front, which is kind of strange, but okay, we'll open it there so you can see. But doing it this way, it's like you can't really play with it. You gotta put the figure and then close it up and be like, there they are. But you can see it's a little bit flimsy, flimsy again. You don't wanna hold it from one side and be like, look, Papa, that will happen. That's what Tyler says. No, oh, look, Papa, it's falling off. I didn't break it, it fell off, look. <gasps> Okay, that's what I'm talking about. It's fragile, but when it's actually together, I think it's actually pretty nice. So yeah, just be really careful with this one. Dang it, it's my favorite one, but it's more fragile than the soda. So unfortunately, the counter is split up, but one side you got some sauces there for your noodles, and the other side is the bowl, and there was the noodles inside of it. Where'd it go? Did I drop it? It dropped somewhere. No, I gotta find it. Oh, it's on the back, I see it. I see it, oh, it's there. It's right there, don't go away, I found it. Yes, thought I lost you forever. That's cool, it's a sticker though. You can see some eggs inside there, but that's it. So the counterpart is really loose because they do this thing where they actually do build it from bottom up. And as I mentioned, you don't want to hold it here. It's not being held down by a lot. They could have probably doubled that up, but just to keep the design, they had to keep it like this. Okay, so along the back wall, you got some utensils. Figure can't really stand in this thing, you know? It's gonna be hard to get one in there. And I twisted that fork. What did I do to that thing? I think I couldn't take it off the little plastic piece and just like twisted. But anyway, be careful when you're trying to pry that apart. You know, if I try to put a figure here, oh, it doesn't even fit inside. 
You know what, man? I'm, I'm, I take it back. Nah, I don't like the shit in any, as much anymore. No, I'm just kidding. I just, you can't put the figure inside properly. Damn it. I thought you could. And this piece fell off. And it absolutely sucks that you can't fit a figure inside. So the counter here, there's no support because it flips open. They should have had it open from the back. They put the chopsticks on the side. I think that could have been done a little bit better, you know. Now I don't like this one as much. I changed my mind, you guys. Let's just look at the accessories. We got the sign here. This is noodle on it. Has a bowl of noodles there and no noodles on top. We lost that already. You got that. You do get a table and you get a couple benches here. It's very simple stuff. Nothing to go crazy about. You can see them there. And a brown empty barrel. Let's look at the figures. You got the chef here. Good printing. Cool bandana. Is he different from the other sushi chef? Yes, he is. Different colors, but same style. Different beard. So they did change it up a little bit. They didn't cheat there. Instead of a businessman, you got a businesswoman. That is a woman, right? Could be a guy. I don't know. Girl power. Look at her. She's hungry for some ramen noodles, but now she can't have it because I lost the stud. And she has an empty briefcase in her hand and a jacket on. There she is. She looks just fine. Hazel's here with the right attire and the bandana on her head. We're going to stick her inside this thing and see if she can fit inside. Oh, it's tight there too. Oh no, she fell out too. There you are, Hazel. Barely fit inside there, so you can get a figure in, but it is super tight. I, I don't know, this, this, this one would be more of a display just because it's cool that you have a Lego or a brick styled ramen noodle shop there. So there you guys go. That's a noodle joint. Let's drop the sucker because it is probably going to go all over the place. And I'll leave Hazel in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, Slupan has failed me on this one, but I still like it. I do still like it. Okay, this is the ice cream shop, 301 pieces. So here we are, we're looking a little bit more feminine, pastel -y colors. I actually quite like the color of this and the next one. So this is the ice cream shop and just like the soda one, it is a little bit fragile because of the curves. But after that last ramen one, or the noodle bar, I don't think anything will come close to that when you're fiddling with it. This one hasn't fallen apart on me, surprisingly. First of all, the top is probably the most attractive thing to you or to your eyes. I actually really like the ice cream. It's like a soft ice cream, right? The shape of it, yeah, it's kind of like the soda. Similar, hinges, gaps here and there. But it actually doesn't look that bad. It's pretty good. So on the front, you have a couple stickers there. Ice cream, food truck name. I gotta laugh at that. Why are you guys putting the stickers like that? You guys gotta read this is probably like a stock photograph and they just like printed that. They forgot to put the ice cream truck name on this. And it's not a truck, by the way. Busted! Y'all are busted, Sluban. Gotta get someone to work on those stickers. The one on the right, it looks like a banana split. And speaking of splits, how does this one open up? Oh, oh, it can't open up. Look, let me push it. Oh, you have to eat this part first. And then it can open up like so. There, they cleaned it for you. As you can see, there's not much going on in there. And like I said, same deal with the bricks. Everything's kind of like being pushed in from out and it's a little bit fragile. The hinge part there can kind of flex. You want to be really careful when you're dealing with that. And the front counter can actually pop off very easily. If you go like that, there you go. That's how easy it pops off, you see? You see? You see what I mean? So it snaps right there and you just better pray and hope that you never break that piece. And the counter goes back on like there. I feel sorry because kids are probably gonna buy this thing more than adults and be like, no, mommy, keep breaking, fix it for me. Just wanna show you guys really fast, like right here, it's super fragile. So it's only being held up by the edges here. So that can pop off pretty easy. Like that, how dare you, dang, dang. So you got nothing on the inside there. Okay, you got a couple of things. On the back, we got the ice cream machine. That's it. On the counter side, you got an ice cream in the front, which is nice. And there's a sticker there of a shelf. Hey, they couldn't put anything there. They couldn't even put a joystick there. So like, now nah, we're just gonna put a sticker there, make it easier for you guys to make it look like it's an ice cream shop. 
So I guess the fastest way to put a figure in there is to just kind of take out the front counter, stick the guy right there. That's what it looks like with the figure inside, so you can't get a figure in. It's a little bit fidgety to get it in there, the person in there. And let's put the regular figure inside. I'll take his cap off. So now we got Nick inside there with his pink cap on. It looks very matching for this set. So you can't get a minifigure inside. It's fit for them. A little bit fragile when you're putting this together, as you saw earlier. Be gentle with it and you should be okay. Hinge could use some work. Now let's look at the figures. So you got the ice cream lady. I like her apron. I actually really like her color. She looks perfectly fine to me. And that's print, by the way, on the apron itself. I like her pink hat. I like the pastel colors. And you got this lady here. She's cool. She's on roller skates, man. She's like, oh, I got my ice cream. I like her expression. I like her shirt as well. I kind of like this figure because of the roller skates. Let's see if I can put the roller skates on Hazel. So the roller skates do fit the regular figures, so she, Hazel can skate over with her headband to the ice cream shop. Very random, isn't it? Of course, you got the signs again, same like the other ones. You got ice cream on top and a sticker that says ice cream. And it actually has an extra sign here, which is kind of cool. It's on three legs right there. You got a menu, the pricing of ice cream. If you want to eat chocolate, banana, strawberry, and orange. Wow, the banana is the most expensive one. Five bucks. The part I'm dreading the most, the drop test for this one, this is not going to be fun. Five, four, three, two, one. 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 Yeah, see, I knew it. It's getting worse as it goes along. <sighs> when you build it the first time and you put it together, it's actually pretty nice. It looks nice to me. I really love the colors of this. Unfortunately, this one, the ramen one, and whatever you saw earlier that was fragile. And they're not as playful as you would like them to be, but it's still really nice. Let's hope the last one that's coming up is not as bad. So this is the birthday cake shop. It's 328 pieces. Pastel again, nice colors, just like the ice cream. I love the colors of it. Very nice, it's very soothing. So I like that, I'll give them that. Still trying to do the little bit of a curve, and you'll see why in a second. So the pastel color is a little bit inviting to me. There's the top, a lot of things going on. You can see it's trying to be a shape of a heart. That's why they try to like curve it a little bit. But how does this hold up? So far, it seems okay. It looks very randomized on top, but I like that you have a flower there, a couple of chocolate bars, and a sticker that says love. Makes me want to eat this thing. And look at all them toilet seats there. Why does it have a toilet seat there for? Snoop Band's doing this thing where they're putting toilet seats on hamburgers and cakes. And they have some blue cherries. So if you want like different looking pieces for your sets, there you go. They even have white cherries all along the bottom. And it's all tiled there. Drum roll. Oh, it doesn't open to the front. It opens to the back. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Whoa. Actually, it looks kind of cool like that. I like it. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Put it this way. Like a little mini shop. There we go. Let's spin it to the back. Backside. Hey, that's a surprise. Looks like got a lot of little things going on. On this side, I have no idea what that is. It's a machine or something. Any guesses on what this transparent machinery thingamajigger is? There is a sticker there to break the illusion that this is a cake shop. There's a cake on a shelf there. And that's it for that side. That is unfortunate. The counter is actually here, but there's no stud there. So if you got the figure in there, you kind of have to, that's going to be tricky, man. To try to get a figure inside. We'll see in a second. Now along this side is, I guess that's where they're making the cakes and there's like the ovens for the baking. Nothing inside of them. Can it open up? Sure can, there you go. Let's see if we can get a figure inside. We'll try to get the chef because have the hat will be higher. So I guess you have to kind of like put one foot on one stud and lift her leg up a little bit. That's probably the only way you can do it, you know, that she can go inside and yeah, that's probably it. There's a trick to this. Gotta keep one foot up so you can't see it from this angle. She looks like she's in the shop. She, right? Yes, she, she. There you go. Let's put a regular figure in there. Same deal, Hazel, I gotta lift up your leg and be like, okay, put you there. See if this will close up. And it fits. So there you go, you can fit a mini figure inside. Hazel looks very nice in there. Anyone wanna buy some cake? So you've got this little sign here, which is really nice, by the way. I like the heart on top. Candy delicious. And the other one, okay, it's not a sign, but I'm, I think that's a, like supposed to be a gumball machine or that's snacks inside of there. 
whatever it is, at least you get something additional. So that's nice. But let's keep the guys in here. We shall do a drop test. Yeah, I think you guys are going to survive. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Nick went flying. Everything else stayed. Open it up. Hazel is still inside. And oh, I almost forgot to mention the balloons along the top. Look at the balloons. It says happy. This set actually makes me happy. It has not fallen apart on me. Of course, we can't forget the figures. We got the candy chef, cake lady. Printing is fine. Apron is different. Again, I like the fact that these guys are different from the other sets. It makes them stand out a little bit more. You got this lady in pink. She looks like she's in her pajamas. She looks nice. I like the flower printing on her. She got her tongue sticking out. She's like, <laughs> All right, a couple of things real quick. You guys asked me to try on some slew bands accessories on the figures. So we're gonna try to put the apron on Nick here. And, oh, it doesn't fit. I tried, I am trying. Oh, look, oh, oh, look, I got it on. Oh, it's break. Oh man, see the sack, I sacrificed this for you guys. It broke. Oh, this, this is like forcing it on here. The things I'm doing for you guys. Slupan apron does not fit a minifigure. Oh, that sucks, man. Okay, not too bad. Oh, don't break, there you go. But, does a backpack fit? Nope, it's just like the jacket we saw earlier. I had to really force it on to get in there. But the good thing is the Sluban wigs do fit. Yeah, Nick, looking good right there. All right, you guys, it's Dimension Times for all the sets. I'm gonna keep them close so I can get through this really quickly, okay? So for the hamburger here, you're looking at 10 studs by 10 studs. If I do a little rotation for you there, you can get a good idea if this is for your city and break out your one by four bricks. Here's mine, that is around eight bricks in height. Okay, for the french fries, you're looking at about 12 studs by length there, it's around there, and the width is around eight studs. Now for the height, I'll spin it back around here, take out my one by four bricks. I'm gonna put right the tip of the tallest fry around here, and that is 13 bricks in height. The good thing about the hot dog is it's kind of like on a square plate, so it's easy to round off. That is 12 studs by 12 studs. So I give you a little rotation here, and I'm gonna flip it here to the side, pull it here, get my one by four bricks out, and kind of put it to the tip of that flag there. And that is 10 bricks in height. Next, for the beverage, soda, coffee, cocktail, whatever you wanna call it, that is rounded, so it's gonna be slightly off on that stud there. So you're looking at about between eight to nine studs by length and width. Now I'm gonna take out my one by four bricks here and I'm gonna stack it to the front, right here where the antenna is. And it is around, oh, let's see if I can get this fit in here. Come on, okay, there you go. Look, oh, it's right there, right there. You're looking at about 17 bricks in height. It'll probably be a little bit higher if you put that straw up in the back there. But anyway, there's your beverage. All right, just like the hot dog, the sushi is on a square plate kind of thing, so you're looking at about 10 studs by, 10 studs, there you go. Looks pretty good, let's break out my one by four bricks again. Put it right here. That is eight bricks in height. Yeah, this one's good for your city. Get this one if you're gonna get any of them. For the ramen, for the noodle set, you're looking at about nine studs by length and width. It's around there, it's curved again, so it might be a little bit off. But hey, you got an idea now, if it's gonna work for your city or for your menu, I don't know. Okay, here's my one by four bricks. I'm gonna put this down right here. It is around, oh, it's pretty close. It's like eight bricks in height. All right, so the ice cream is kind of around seven studs by seven, just so you know. I could be wrong, but you can clearly see it there. And count it for yourself. And I'm gonna take out my one by four bricks and kind of stack it here. Ooh, that's pretty tall. There we go. And that is around 20 bricks in height. So the last one is the cake, birthday cake, whatever cake you'd like it to be. That is 16 studs by length and by 11. So there you go. Nice and flat, I like that. Now let's check the height. I'm gonna swing it here to the side. Put my one by four bricks there. Put it there. And that is 13 bricks in height. So there you go, there's your dimensions. I hope it works out for you. So there you guys go. That concludes our Sluban series and slew band forever and no, i'm just kidding if you really want me to do more slew band let me know 
their sets are kind of hard to get and sometimes they're just easier to buy in other places. But if you really, really want a Stupan set from us, you know how to find me, man. Or go visit BrickMeUpScotty.com and email us. All right, there you go. On to the next video. Until next time, you guys. Break me out. All right, so the sushi set is 300 sushi. 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 Okay, now I gotta put this back together. See, that's why we have drop tests. This is what I had to show you guys. Durability, brick. I'm no expert. I just drop things sometimes. Hey, though, where did you go? You are still in sushi. Dollar what? Where'd you go? Where'd you disappear to?